for me, it's very important that my hurt can help somebody else. And so the more that I could understand about my stroke and try to get other people involved, that's what, who I am. And I wasn't sure where that would be, how it would be. And this, this project, this uh, journey has given me that opportunity through um, Davina and at the Brain Injured Group. So when we engage patients and community members in research, what's, what the evidence is beginning to show is that we do actually start to get to some of the right issues and start to see some really positive changes. But the science of actually how we do that is really developing. And so this project is really focused on how we involve patients and community members that perhaps uh, face uh, barriers to engagement. And those barriers could be anything from um, housing insecurity, food insecurity, maybe substance use disorders, uh, people with very complex healthcare conditions. And a lot of these factors can really inhibit people being actually able to be involved in that research process. And so this project is really helping to try and uh, break down you know, what we can do to engage uh, lots of different voices in research and so that we can really get to those right questions and right answers and right solutions. So working in partnership with our patient co-lead, Barbara, um, and, and the wider team, we've been really able to, to begin the process by looking at some of the questions that we want to ask. This is a very exciting process, it's a new process, and over the next two years, um, it's going to be fun to see how the work evolves. Quite frankly, when it came to the stroke, there was there was nothing available to me that was helpful. Um, the, like Davina said, um, the right questions needed to be asked, and I didn't even know what they were until I met her. Mm -hmm.